everybody. My next guest is a regular on The Daily Show. He can be seen next Friday in his own Comedy Central special, Louis Black, Taxed Beyond Belief. Please welcome the very funny Louis Black. You know, um, after September 11th, the weather in this country went completely nuts. And nobody seemed to notice. It was the hottest fall ever. Okay? It was actually so warm, it was spring. And no one cared. No one talked about it. The media didn't even cover it. Okay? It was actually so hot that the leaves didn't change color. They just got tired and fell off the trees. <laughs> At the end of November, it was 75 degrees outside, and I was in a panic. I said, by mid-December, it's going to be 130. <laughs> People coming home from work, the sun a foot from their heads, <laughs> sweating like little pigs, going to the refrigerator to get something to drink, and the eggs would be done. <laughs> and nobody seemed to notice but me. Nobody worried that it was spring and it should be fall. No, people were worried about anthrax and smallpox. I mean, five people died of anthrax, and that's horrible. But it's five. Five! <laughs> Everybody was freaking out. I don't want to get anthrax. Well, you're not going to get anthrax, you idiot, unless you screw a sheep. <laughs> anthrax? <laughs> you know... Even the people in Rolla, Missouri were worried about anthrax. That's right, I've performed in Rolla, Missouri, because my life is a rich, full tapestry. <laughs> and if you're thinking of killing yourself, Rolla's the place to go. Because when you get there, you'll take one look around and say, I want to end it all. <laughs> you can't even get there directly, you fly to St. Louis. And then you drive two hours on Route 66. They wrote a song about it, but not that part of the highway. <laughs> it's completely desolate. And the first sign I saw, bright blue background, white letters, Jesus. <laughs> and there wasn't a phone number or nothing. <laughs> and just as I was forgetting about that sign, there it was again. Bright blue background, white letters, Jesus. If you're Jewish, traveling alone on a desolate highway, <laughs> And you see two signs that say Jesus. When you see the third one, it's a tip to turn around and go home. <laughs> but the people in Rolla were worried about getting anthrax. They said, what are you going to get it? How? Huh? From a Kmart catalog? <laughs> what are you people thinking? Nobody wants to kill you. Look at where you live. You're already dead. <laughs> People were worried about getting smallpox. I don't worry about getting smallpox. I got a vaccine. I got a scar to prove it. Because back then they didn't have the proper equipment and they used a Coke cap and they just scratched me. <laughs> and I'll tell you this, if I get smallpox, I'm suing the government because they took me out of class to get that vaccine. And if I'd been in that class, I wouldn't have to do this for a living. <laughs> I'd have a real job like at Enron. <laughs> Meanwhile, we hadn't had a real spring in, in 40 years. And when it finally came, it was fall. <laughs> I was screaming at people, look at the calendar. We're going backwards. We're going backwards. <laughs> I was in a total panic. I thought it was environmental terrorism. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I thought there was some guy in Afghanistan, you know, with aluminum foil on his head in the mountains with a couple of black and white televisions mucking with our weather. <laughs> and if it's not environmental terrorism, it's global warming. And if it's global warming, we should do something about that. Okay? 135 nations signed that global warming treaty. We didn't sign it. Nations that couldn't read the treaty signed the treaty. <laughs> we had to explain it to them. Burr, burr, sweaty, sweaty, signy, signy. <laughs> think that the Weather Channel would talk about the global warming. They're on 24 hours a day. Here's something to chew on. It's the most watched cable channel in America. 
I'm going to repeat that. <laughs> it's the most watched cable channel in America. That's reason enough for us to stop this show right now and have a town meeting. <laughs> the government was worried about us being so terrorized we would be immobile. And meanwhile, many of our fellow countrymen were watching weather. <laughs> it's weather, okay? You can't be any more immobile than that. All right? What are you saying when you're just watching weather? You're saying, I'd go to the window, but it's too far. <laughs> it's always a pleasure, thank you. Very nice job. Lewis Black, everybody, we will take a break. Yeah.